A linear array transducer with a small parts exam type is used to perform an ultrasound examination of the thyroid gland. The patient is placed in a supine position with a pillow beneath the shoulders to extend the neck. The transducer is placed transversely over the thyroid region with the orientation marker directed towards the patient's right side. In transverse, start on the patient's right side, sweep through the entire gland and isthmus cranially to caudally from top to bottom. The thyroid will appear as a light gray or slightly hyperechoic structure when compared to the surrounding muscles. The muscles seen closest to the transducer and anterior to the thyroid are the sternohyoid and sternothyroid muscles, while the jugular vein and the carotid artery can be seen lateral and slightly posterior to the thyroid gland. The jugular vein will appear as a dark, anechoic elliptical shape and is compressible with transducer pressure, while the carotid artery will appear more circular and pulsatile. The transducer is then rotated 90 degrees with the orientation marker directed to the patient's head to scan both sides of the entire gland and isthmus from a lateral to medial position. Approximately 90% of all thyroid nodules are benign and are common in about 50% of the population. Nodules can be classified as predominantly cystic, solid, or complex in appearance. Thyroid cysts are less likely to be malignant and will appear as an anechoic, fluid-filled ovoid structure. Solid, benign thyroid nodules can appear as ovoid, iso, or hypoechogenetic structures that are often less than one centimeter in size with a width that is wider than tall in orientation. Benign solid nodules will typically have smooth margins and can be seen to have a hypoechogenetic halo around the nodule. A complex nodule, which is comprised of both cystic and solid components, should be evaluated as a solid nodule and may contain calcifications. When evaluating the thyroid, the size and number of nodules should be documented. A thyroid gland with multiple nodules or goiters are the most common cause of thyroid enlargement and appear as multiple heterogeneous nodules with little to no normal anatomy seen. The normal thyroid gland is highly vascular and will have profuse blood flow on color. Color Doppler can be used to evaluate thyroid nodules. A complete avascular nodule is very unlikely to be malignant.